Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to new channel update, I have taken over channel, my name is Pinkleton. <laughs> uh, no, I can't do that. <laughs> anyway, hello everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're having a fantastic night. <laughs> oh my god. This is the new Russian channel where we only do Pinky exclusive content. Indeed. <laughs> Pinkleton the Zimbleton, da! <laughs> oh, fantastic stuff. Who have we got here then? Hello, Mitz. Hello, Fig Jam. Hello, Mike. Hello, Shifty. Hello, Brandon. Hello, Dave. Hello, Something Funny. Hey, Laurie. Hey, Chris. Excellent. So, we're continuing on our stream from last time. Don't know if you remember, so let's go ahead and kick it off straight away. Now, I've tried to remember where everything was. I think I've done quite a reasonable job of replacing everything. Obviously, I had to, uh, re like, sort of rejig everything because, obviously, I was recording videos, stuff like that. So, I think I've done a pretty good job. You know, we have the uh, boobers that are at the back there. We've still got the uh, trolls that are on the far hand Oh, right hand side sorry as well as the ghosts over here as well <laughs> demand perfection well i've got it good enough i'm happy with it <laughs> let's see how we do tonight then ladies and gentlemen so just a quick recap of what we're doing there is a bunch of zombies here you ladies and gentlemen are in control of them it's up to you to build a gigantic horde and take on three villages what we've got here is the first village consisting of nothing but romans the second village over here is going to be consisting of a mongolian horde 50,000 strong and the last objective the smallest village over here is consisting of the pinky lesser demons 50 thousand of them so it is your job today then and as the last time to go through each of the villages and wipe them out now you've got your exploding zombies you've got your standard zombies you've also got your ghosts and your trolls and the kill streak wheel is active every ten thousand kills and on that wheel of course exploding zombies ah <laughs> oh, yes excellent stuff Oh, I love the boomer wheel. The, the exploding zombies are a lot of fun. I love them so much. <laughs> As some of you might be able to tell from the video I released today. Pretty much did an entire video about zombies that explode. You guys here, uh, are our sound levels okay? You guys hear everything all right? Yeah, excellent. Oh yes, the uh, the tank zombies as well. Yeah, I pretty much did just l rip off Left 4 Dead there. So as you can see, your zombie horde here pretty easily able to deal with the roman horde now even though there was 50,000 romans here your total kill counter so far is about 10,000 thanks to the exploding zombies a lot of them end up being environmental kills however a win is a win is it not ladies and gentlemen so at the end of this round the poll will go up and you'll be able to vote on the units you want to purchase and add them to your attack wave because realistically now your next challenge then is definitely going to be the mongolian horde and they have different properties here to the romans they're a little bit faster they're not as damaging or as heavily armored but they've got some good deflection chances on them <laughs> dave oh god that's awful Oh, what we, hey, oh, we've got a back alley party here, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you that don't know, they are my favourite kind of parties. I love me a good back alleyway party. And these back alleyway parties had men in skirts in them. Oh my. <laughs> 
you get in early. There's there's some variation of that's what she said on that, I'm pretty sure. So it doesn't look like we've got any invisible trolls here here this time. No, we've just simply stomped over the poor Roman horde who are now just lying in heaps and heaps of shield and that rotten ancient remains. Come on then, let's see what's happening over here. Oh yeah, I need to, uh, sorry, we're going to have to do this. Well, we don't have to, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> we're just going to get rid of the, uh, the couple of shotgun, uh, the couple of shotgun troops, the couple of Romans that are stuck on top of them. Just because it'll distract your forces otherwise. There we go. Excellent stuff. Right, lads, onwards to the next village. There's another village to pillage here. Oh, well, happy St. Patrick's Day, Laurie. I didn't even realise it was St. Patrick's Day, to be honest. Here we go. The booming zombies. Oh, my God, yes. Absolutely fantastic stuff. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, the poor Mongolians. They are just absolutely getting obliterated here. Go on. Wee! The NASA Space Project is calling you. Oh gosh, we've got the trolls coming in now, in the background. There we go. We're making astronauts out of Mongolians tonight. There we go, the ghosts now finally starting to catch up. They're laying in their fire. Let's have a look at our kill counter so far. So we're at 13,000 kills so far. Not bad. That's at least one that's been of the kill streak wheel. There's 89,000 enemies remaining. So, how are you, ladies and gentlemen, feeling about uh, being able to conquer this tonight? Do you think you're going to be able to defeat these uh, challenges? going to be able to take out each village no problem oh I love the confidence love the confidence that's what I like to see <laughs> we might do it mitts that's so British of you everyone else is really confident in you know the typical British response there eh, maybe Possibly. Not too bad. <laughs> I'm liking the work that these trolls are doing as well. <laughs> oh my god, you can practically smell the gym sock odour just reeking off them. You can see here the ghosts killing lots and lots of the poor Mongolians here with each little blast. Tell you what, you do not want to get covered in the green glue goo of these chaps. That is ectoplasm orgasm, I tell you what. <laughs> oh! A green ball right in the corner. That is something that I've said to the wife more than once. <laughs> oh, no, no, I've never said I've got a green ball in the corner to the wife. In any sort of context. <laughs> Indeed, Dave, balls. Now, we've got over here what appears to be a bit of a Mongolian strike happening. It seems that some of the union workers were not happy about the attack that has come forth from the zombies and they decided to go on strike. Perhaps they want higher pay grades. Well, they're fallows over here. Look at these. These chaps over here, they're getting higher pay grades. I mean, the dead afterwards, but they're getting... Look, at, look, that's a much higher pay grade. Well, thank you, Shifty. That's very kind of you, good sir. Those of you who are wanting to accept memberships, make sure you've got uh, gift accepting turned on. 
and it should automatically allocate it to you. <laughs> well, fair enough. Thank you, mate. It's the best day of the year to have green balls. I suppose it is, yeah. St. Patrick's Day. I mean, yeah, there we go. We're doing a St. Patrick's Day thing here. It's got green balls from all... <laughs> green balls from the ghosts. It's such a weird thing to say. Are we actually going to... You know what? I think we might defeat the Mongolian Horde now. I was getting a bit exuberant there. I was thinking for a second we might actually be able to defeat the Mongolian Horde here in one go. But, no. I, then I saw this side, and yeah. Then I saw your flank, and I'm a believer. Wouldn't believe you if you were a Jedi. I don't know what that is. Here we go then. Come on, Mongolians. You can do it <laughs> bit by bit. They're pushing forward. They're still getting absolutely blasted by ghosts. You ladies and gentlemen here with your zombie horde trying to end the world. I don't know. You're so evil. 30,000 kills though has been attained so far. That's three spins of the kill streak wheel. Not bad. Ooh, coffee. I'll have some coffee. <laughs> yeah these ghosts are pretty strong aren't they but then again that's why i made them cost a lot that sounds like a place in spain cost a lot <laughs> oh yes darling we've just come back from cost a lot it was absolutely lovely a bit expensive though I don't know why I'm doing an impersonation of a British person when I am British. It's because that's what all the Americans do. They do an impersonation of a British person and they automatically go to that voice. You all right, love? Yeah. Like, we're, we've all just come round from a stroke or something. Oh, well. I suppose that's because we all do impersonations of them, and whenever we do, we do redneck voices. So, you know, potato, potato. Can a kangaroo jump higher than a house? Of course houses can't jump, Dave. That is awful. You should hang your head in shame. I'd hate to see what uh, you palms think us Aussies sound like. Well, you'll sound like Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> a professional. What's a fashional, and why are you before it? Oh, a pro. Good day, Bruce. <laughs> yeah, it's either that or it's Bruce from what is it Finding Nemo. There's a possibility, Fig Jam. There is a very big possibility that you might get through the Mongolians next round. Like I said, apart from the ones who were on strike over here, God knows what they're on. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The final kill counter for you, chaps. 35,324, uh, 35, should I say. There we go, then. There is your poll. Go ahead and vote on what zombies and evil, horrible things you want to add to your army next you can go take a note of the kill counter here that was 35,300 oh. okay and we also need to do some wheel spins three wheel spins here so let's give it a go a good old whirly wheel See what our first one is. 
500. Nice. So that was second from the top there. Next, 300. Not bad, not bad. And your last one. There we go then. Excellent. Now, do you want to add these on to your existing explosive zombies? Yeah. That brings up the new total of exploded zombies to 3,380. And let's go ahead and end our poll. Crikey. Shiny shoes for you, Gavna. But it looks like we're getting ourselves some ghosts. Are we adding these ghosts onto your existing group of ghosts? Excellent. So that'll bring our group of ghosts up to 77. Nice, nice. Now, I did notice that these needed moving over just a little bit because they were just flanking like crazy. I believe that's roughly where I had them before because for some reason the cutoff for the zombies appears to actually be about here rather than over there, so... Are we all good here? Are we happy? Are we ready to go? No more moving. No more shaking. Yeah, excellent. Let's kick it off then. You do the shake and back, you bring the freshness back. <laughs> shake it once, that's fine. Shake it twice, that's okay. Shake it three times, you're playing with yourself. <laughs> there we go then, let's have a look, see what happens here. There we go, that's much better. Ever thought about doing adverts? Um, yeah. I had one for a uh, mine camp feature, but it didn't really take off. Some of the kills do count. Oh my god, look at the ghost barrage there. Oh, that was absolutely insane. That is a lot of ghost orbs, ladies and gentlemen. The Romans are definitely going to be feeling this as the green blobs of death just slam right into the faces. I mean, they are literally coming in at face height on some of these. Look at them. Like, would you even bother putting up your shield, ladies and gentlemen, or would you just, like, accept your fate and let it slam into your face? To be honest, I probably would put up my shield if it was me. You'd have to try. Indeed, the boomers are excellent disruption weapons. Look, every time you see them exploding, just look at the zombies pour into the gap. It basically means that the Romans have no chance of forming any coherent line here whatsoever. Any time a bunch of them 
try to run into the gap, but an exploding zombie just runs in, detonates, and yeah, sends Romans sky high. Any of the Romans that aren't getting detonated are being melted so far by ghost plasma, which is just pouring in all over the line at the moment. And we have got a couple of tanky trolls as well, which is also, don't underestimate these chaps, they've got massive health pools. They can keep the front line static for as long as they want. Oh yes, the roof Romans, let's go do that quickly while we... Uh... Alright, stop, stop deflecting them, lad. Hello? There we go. <laughs> he didn't want to die, that Roman, Jesus. There we go. Roof Roman start with, sorry that the shotgun's so loud, there's not much I can do about it. Here we go, then. Oh, God. The next group... There's a, a couple of uh, strikers here that need to be taken out. So there we go. Excellent. A little last remnants here of the Roman horde. God, they're just getting melted through with these explosive zombies. Is that because it's St. Patrick's Day? There, Dave. Excellent. Go on then, chaps, onwards to the next village. I wish there was a way that I could change the colour of the the skins for the zombies so I could, like, change the boomers to a different colour so we knew which ones were which. <laughs> more meat or more balls next round. Well, I, I would argue that you can't have the meat without the balls. Meat balls just go together. Ahmed the dead terrorist, Jesus. I kill you. Goodness gracious me, great balls of fire. Slice of roni, brony. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, you know what's about to happen. I didn't even notice this, but I get notifications for it. Oh, God. An advert is going to run in the next 40 seconds. Be warned. It now pops up and shows me that an advert's going to run. I didn't even notice that before. Oh, 30 seconds till an advert, just as the big attack wave comes in. That's typical. Oh no, 15 seconds. Ooh, slow-mo, good idea. There we go, I'll put it in slow-mo. Hopefully the advert should pass. Five seconds. Okay, so there we go. The ad has just been inserted. Those of you who it's given an ad, <laughs> I apologize. Well, I don't know. It said add inserted, so God knows what it did there. If you didn't get one, I wouldn't complain about it. You, you're the lucky chosen few.
<laughs> you got a mind that's not an ad. Well, with everyone seeming to be here, I'll take it back out of slow mo then. <laughs> you got a, a movie called Good Person in a Roofing Ad. Wow, that sounds fantastic. Yeah, YouTube have added uh, mid-roll ads to uh, live stream, so I think it does it, like, automatically now. I think it's, like, every 10 minutes or something like that. I'm not quite sure how often it is. How long have we been going? Oh, we've been going 30 minutes, and that's the first one, so it might do it every 30 minutes then, actually. I think every 30 minutes it automatically runs an ad, which would explain why you got four last stream. Yeah, that probably makes more sense. Canada Energy. Wow. You've been uh, looking for a new uh, tariff there, Mitz. <laughs> no. Okay, that is weird then. God, we've actually got a really large amount of zombies left here this time round. And we can see that this here has stopped any sort of outflanking maneuver by the good old Mongolians here. But they have cleared up most of this line on this side. A lot of the Mongolians have. There's a couple of trolls left which are just absolutely pounding ash cheeks here of the poor old Mongolians. God, they really do just wipe out so many with each swing. It's at least 10 die <laughs> with each swing. Oh, God, there we go, a troll going over. I don't think any of the exploding zombies are left now. However, the zombies are breaking through on this side, which is a bit of an oddity. We're basically going to change the rotation here of the battlefield. We're going to go from this way in a minute to go in this way. Two seconds, ladies and gentlemen. I just need to be right back, sorry. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. My daughter's still kicking off in the background. She's had uh, loads of uh, jabs done recently. And uh, 
she's also teethied as well, so she's like, Mega Bard, won't stop crying, just kicks off. <laughs> Stressful times. Can you see the town? It's a very lovely town. Oh my god. What's going on here? Yeah, there was a little breakaway force coming over here. They're basically just going around, killing all these ones who were on strike. And you know what? I don't bloody blame them. Look at you. Totally, you know what? Let's... Let's take on a horde here. A Dorkin! A Dorkin! Oh, I'm doing it! No. No, I didn't. Here lies Pinky. <laughs> oh my god You're actually cleaning up the Mongolian horde here Ladies and gentlemen Also need your help ladies and gentlemen i don't know what video to make next there's uh, two ideas that i've got permeating in my head at the moment that i want to uh, work on which one would you like to see first i'm going to do both of them but i'm just wondering which ones you'd like to see first so the first one i want to do is a video based on different deflections where we see how crazy we can make deflections get in the game and the second one I want to do is about tanks that have no ammunition and instead drive over their enemies. Which one would you like to see first? Deflections or tanks driving over enemies? Tanks. Yeah, a few two for tanks. Well, I'm going to be making both of them. Deflective tanks. God. Feminist, isn't it? Oh yeah, it looks like a lot of people want the tank video first, no worries. That's probably the one I'll start working on next. Like I said, it's going to take me uh, a few days to go through them. I'm putting a lot more time and effort into them now. I'm actually writing scripts and stuff like that instead of just winging it. I just want to make uh, higher quality Ultimate Epic Battle vi Simulator videos. Seems like everyone else out there is doing the battles, so I'm going to let them ca continue doing the battles, and I'm going to continue doing the cha crazy chaotic videos, I think. That's my thing. Build it and they shall come. <laughs> Is that the ape rock behind the knights? Not quite. Close. It is damn close, I'll give you that. That is almost it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The pinky lesser demons have finally been engaged. The zombie horde has made its way now on to the last village. 49,000 heavy knights are here now. Yep. 
yeah, pinky lesser demons doing exactly what you'd expect them to do. Just absolutely slayed the zombie horde. Oh my god. The only saving grace so far, pretty much the ghosts here doing lots and lots of splash damage with their orbs of greeny ball goodness. There we go. The last of the zombie line now collapsing and the ghosts are up for grabs. You're at 37,500 kills. Yeah, just shy in the fourth kill streak there. The last couple of ghosts going down now. Going down like a $5 hooker. Oh my god. There we go. Well, we're going to call this here. There's seven troops remaining. They're still glitching out here and there and everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. So, there is your poll. Go ahead and vote on what units you want to add to your zombie horde next. And I'll go take a note of this kill counter. So, the final kill counter then, 37,558. Now, that would get us three spins of our kill streak wheel as well. Get that on the go. Let's do the first spin. Oh my god, first spin. 600 exploding zombies. Second spin. Four hundred exploding exploding. What's an exploding? Exploding zombies. And the final spin. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, and another four hundred exploding zombies. That is not a bad little count there, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad at all. So are we adding them <laughs> exposing zombies? Jesus. Do you want to add them onto the uh, existing ones? Yeah. Show us your green bits. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, let's add these to the existing ones. So that'll bring our total... That'll bring our total to uh, 4,780. And let's go ahead and end our poll. What are we going to buy? What are we adding to the, def uh, the attack force? More ghosts. Okay, so are we adding these ghosts onto our existing group of ghosts? Problem to already okay, so we're adding these ghosts on then that will bring our new total of ghosts up to a hundred and fifteen, ladies and gentlemen. Element one one five. Very interesting element actually when you uh, learn about it. Anyway. Let's go a kick off this. Element 115, yeah. It's very interesting, Element 115, especially if they were able to find a stabilised version of it. Ironically, the entire entirety of the Call of Duty uh, zombie Black Ops thing... Well, well, Call of Duty Zombies is entirely based off Element 115 and finding a stable version of it, which helps to create time travel and all that kind of stuff, which isn't actually as far-fetched as you think about. As you might think it is, it's as odd to say. 
yeah, Element 115 is really interesting. Bob Lazar actually said that he've uh, he found a stable version of that in a spacecraft that they were reverse engineering. Uh, supposedly an alien spacecraft that had a generator that had a stable version of Element 115 in it, which is something that humans haven't been able to do yet. And apparently this was some sort of uh, giving off some sort of gravity field. Interesting stuff. Don't know whether it's real or not, but Bob Lazar is definitely an interesting character. <laughs> ah, Dave, that is one of my favourite songs. I must admit, I do love me some Pink Floyd. Absolutely fantastic band. Time, I love that song. Money, that's another fantastic song. The great gig in the sky. Welcome to the machine. Oh my god, what a ble what a bleak song. Welcome to the machine is. Welcome, my son. Welcome to the machine. What did you dream? It's all right. We told you what to dream. And, uh, what's it? Wish you were here. Love wish you were here. Comfortably numb. <laughs> oh, Roka, go ahead and turn on uh, gift accepting. There should be a gifted sub ready for someone to collect. So if you go ahead and turn on uh, gifting accepting, you should get a free membership. Can anyone tell uh, Roka how to turn on gift accepting? Has anyone done it? I've never done it myself. I just know that's how you have to do it to be able to uh, to get them. Someone here be able to tell him how to do it? That would be fantastic. Indeed, the Romans got absolutely destroyed there. Still a large chunk of your army left as well, 20,000. Yeah, can anyone remember how to turn on uh, gift accepting? And if so, let uh, Roka know. Uh, unfortunately, I am unable to Google it at the moment. Apparently, you do it in the live chat window. 
Roker. Apparently it shows up somewhere in the live chat window that you'd be able to turn it on. Yeah, so yeah, definitely should be an option. There. I don't know. I really don't know how it all works, unfortunately. And YouTube aren't exactly forthwith coming with the information. Yeah, we've got a few people on strike, actually. Quite a few are on strike, so... Ah, it takes. I didn't know they could expire. I thought it took over 12 hours for them to expire. What does expire mean? What happens after it expires? Rooftop Mongolians? There's, oh, yeah, there's a few here. Oh, you poor buggers. <laughs> yeah, I think that was... Uh, oh, no, there's a couple more here. There we go. Ah, so Shifty just gets a full refund then. Apparently, if you click join on membership and hit the three dot settings, three dots for the settings, it brings up gifted membership accepting. <laughs> Money, get back. I'm all right, Jack. Just keep your hands off my stash. Money! Think I'll buy me a Learjet. Well, that's weird, though, because I... I swear, when I bought them 15, I haven't got a refund, and hardly any of the 15 were accepted, so... I don't get that. But I, I haven't been refund... I don't know if you, ladies and gentlemen, remember when I bought the 15 on the 3K sub one. I bought 15 and, like, what? Three or four people accepted them. But I never got refunded for the rest. So I'm not quite sure. Oh, thank you again, Shifty. That's very kind of you. He is indeed. He's a good old one, Shifty is. Oh, thank you, Shifty. That's very kind of you. So, our zombie horde, so far, are absolutely slain the Mongolian horde. The Romans have fallen. Now, 
we are seemingly struggling just a little bit at this point here. Now, I do think we need some more troops here to help us, especially with going on towards the bigger, harder unit at the very end here. More explodey zombies. Explodey zombies are always good. So far, we've got three spins of the kill streak wheel. Goes into... Apparently, according to gifting memberships, terms and conditions... Time is there for people who are in chat and don't have memberships, but accept one. If that tick that if that ticks down, it goes into who views it next and is subscribed with a limit of twenty four hours, uh, twelve hours before refund. So, is that including? Does that mean only while live, though, Shifty, or is that in, does that include the VOD after? Oh, Roka, that's very kind. Thank you, and welcome, my friend. Everyone, give Roka a nice big warm welcome there. Welcome to the club, my friend. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> here we go then coming in to our big old lesser pinky demons here will the zombie horde be able to succeed i mean to be fair you've got seven thousand troops left it depends how good these old you know what you call them here the ghosts i keep forgetting what these are called it's because i'm not used to ghosts slinging orbs of plasma around i think that's what it is <laughs> oh gosh here we go pinky lesser demons now charging the ghosts and absolutely just slaughtering them oh dear spectre isn't that a james bond film god Zombies really do get sliced by these, uh, by the heavy troops here, the heavy knights. They are very, very strong. <laughs> that is a lot of ghost orbs that are now coming in. Oh my god, that is a lot of ghost orbs that come in. Will we get to 40,000 kills and get the fourth uh, spinner, the kill streak wheel? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking so. It's not that far off. We only need another 4,000 kills here. Oh, I'm sorry if you can hear the daughter crying in the background, ladies and gentlemen. You can't hear Ah, good. The compression and filter uh, noise filter is working on the microphone, then. <laughs> <laughs> That's good then. Right, I've got headphones on and I can hear it through. Oh, Mitz. Thank you. I didn't know that. 
<laughs> Shifty Jesus Christ. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Only six of your zombie horde remain here. 44,000 heavy knights are still on the field. There's your poll. Go and vote on what units you want to add to your zombie horde. So we got another three spins of our kill streak wheel here as well. So let's get get the three spins of this going. First one, a solid start, four hundred. The second one. Two hundred. And our last spin. <laughs> oh, what a nice one to end it on there. A five hundred one strong. Now, are we adding these to the existing ones? Whip out your rubber sock, it's Olympic o'clock. <laughs> yeah, same unit. No worries. So that'll bring our total exploding zombies up to... 5,880. That's quite an army of explosives that we're gaining here now. Let's go ahead and end our poll here then and find out what we're going for. Ooh, standard zombies. Okay, are we adding the standard zombies onto our existing group of zombies down here? Yeah. No worries, no either. So that'll bring our existing group up to from right, get this ladies and gentlemen. We're getting from twenty seven thousand one hundred and sixty one zombies here to sixty four thousand two hundred and forty five. That's quite an increase. We're going to have to bring them forward just a little bit, just so that the other units aren't swamped right behind them. Yeah. <laughs> More rank, yeah? That's, uh... Yeah, give it slightly more rank. Oh, we're going to have to move them over, though, because... Sort of in the mountain... So, what are we doing here then? Are we all good? He's back up. Mark up here. Are we all good? Are we all happy? Is everyone okay? Does anyone need medical assistance? Need an adult. Um, I can't really help you there, Shifty, because I need one too. Yeah, let's kick this off then and see what happens. Fornicating <laughs> under the consent of the king. Jesus Christ. What sort of medieval court chat room have I just walked in on? Here we go then. Let's kick this off. See how we do. 
And we are a lot closer than before, but, you know. Oh, well. Plenty of big green orbs now coming in. The ghost army here that you hired. Doing its work. <laughs> Flinging its greeny goodness at the poor old Romans here. Who are... Yeah, again, just taking orbs of death right to the face. The zombie front line here. Got no explosions on it at the moment. So I'm thinking then that the uh, horde is wide enough now that all the explosive zombies are sort of stuck at the back of the horde, which might be a good thing. It might be a bad thing. Who knows? Yeah, saving the explosive zombies for later, but look at this. Oh my god. The flank now, ladies and gentlemen, that you're able to pull off is absolutely massive. Uh, not really, Roker. More into the uh, chaos and destruction over here. Yeah, it's not historical, it's hysterical. Yeah, we do hysterical bat battles here. But yeah, we, we're generally here for the uh, the chaos, the destruction, and the explosions. <laughs> we're simple folk. Like, if historical battles was Formula One, then we <laughs> are Monster Truck. <laughs> that that's the uh that's the kind of vibe <laughs> i will say ladies and gentlemen these are ghosts here absolutely destroying the roman army yet again they just chewed their way through them absolutely no problem let's go take care of our roof campers here God, all them shells that go bouncing off there. God knows who they hit. <laughs> there we go. Off he goes. You know what? While we're here, we'll go quickly do the Mongolians. Uh... Okay. D d what? Did that really ha- Does that- Really? I didn't even compute that in my brain. Like, what are they chasing after? Is it me? Well, at least this makes it a little bit easier. <laughs> In some ways, it makes it a lot easier for you. You no longer have to trape. Um. <laughs> um. Guys, why? Why did you run all the way out here and then just chill? Like, oh no, we can see the enemy now. We know what attacked us, and you know what? We don't want any part of it. I think they've accidentally slipped into the fourth dimension. Oh, are we going to get stray ghost blobs hitting them soon? Yeah, imagine if they were just completely glitched out now and they just stood here. Let's see. Come on. Mop up the last bunch of Romans. Oh, well, here we go. Nah, they're all awake. They've woke up. The beehive's back awake. The exploding zombies gave them a good old wake-up call here. And like I said, in some ways, it's good. It means you don't have to run across the entirety of the desert 
I don't know whether it'll be good for your combat formation. That's a totally different thing. But now I know, at least I know for the future, that uh, shotgunning grouped uh, guard mode units that have not yet been activated will actually activate them to some degree. Literally triggered. You know what, I think this is actually a good thing for you, because half of the army is still stuck inside over there. So you're sort of like mowing them down before they've even formed any sort of defensive line here now. So yeah, I really do think this has actually worked out a heck of a lot better for you. God, this is... Look at how many troops you've got now. This is one hell of a combat line, considering we only started off with 10,000 zombies. Now look at us. A gigantic horde. Ready to kill the last remnants of mankind in this godforsaken desert. To be honest, I bet half of these chaps would be happy to die. I mean, just look at where they are. It's a big open desert. They're probably thirsty as hell. Can you imagine fighting in deserts in suits of armor? That's a big fat no no for me. I don't want that shit. So it does look like then that our ghosts are concentrating on the center blob over here, which basically means that the army is going to get cut in half at some point. Which is really bad for the Mongolians, excellent for you. But yeah, look, you can see right here, look at this. It's literally being held by two or three men. A couple of good, oast, uh, good ghost balls in there, and this whole line will collapse. And in fact, it's happening right now. Here we go, the complete collapse of the line as the zombies break through here. There we go. The surround can happen, and that is pretty much GG for the Mongolians at this point. That's true, yeah, the wearing fur hats and the hot sand. Can you imagine actually wearing what the Mongolians are wearing in this weather? Because their clothing is literally designed for ice and snow. And, yeah, <laughs> here they are in the middle of the desert of Troy. Okay, what we got going on here over here? Oh, these guys are going to get the ones who are stragglers. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to be right back for like two or three minutes. I'm sorry. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to put the camera. It's a bit risky, but I'm going to have to put the camera over here because I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I'll be back in time. You know what? Group, we'll risk it. I'll put it here. Hopefully I'll be back. I'll come back in a few minutes and see if the camera's moved. And then I might have to go AFK very quickly again after. It won't be a sec.
I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. Just had to help the wife hope. Oh, God, we haven't missed much. God, God, God. So, it does look like that, that you absolutely eradicated the Mongolians over there. And now we've got a large bulk of units actually heading over towards the heavy knights here. Roughly about 32,000 zombies remaining here to take on the 49,000 heavy knights. Is it going to be enough? That is a really, really good question. How many of the exploding zombies are left? To be honest, I think a lot of your hopes and dreams are going to be posted on trolls and on... Uh... Oh, we've actually got a couple of trolls that have made it all the way to the end here. But yeah, a lot of your hopes and dreams when it gets to this part are going to be put on the ghosts, I would imagine. Oh, Roku, yeah. Got a uh, got a one year old, so in that phase at the moment. As I say she's just had all the jabs. She's currently teething, so it's, uh, yeah, fun times. Over on the flanks here, you can see the heavy knights are winning the flanks bit by bit. But well, basically, what you ladies and gentlemen need to hope for is that there's enough ghosts here to wipe out this middle army. You can see that the knights have made a breakthrough here, though. Oh, no. Yeah, this is going to be hard. Yeah, that is true, fake gem. Yeah, you have attained four spins of the killstreak wheel, though. So that's at least guaranteed at least 100 extra explosive zombies. <laughs> no, the minimum you can get Fig Jam is a, an extra 100, because you were already getting 300. So the minimum extra that you can get now is an extra 100. I don't know, you know. I think with the ghost dying here, this might be the GG. Unless the zombies can plug the gap. Uh, ghosts or trolls. Trolls are pretty good, pretty tanky. You'd be able to afford a lot of boomers as well, yeah? Some 4,000 odd of them, basically doubling how many you'd have. Already. I say, definitely do not underestimate the power of uh, the explosive zombies. They will happily wipe out most of these here. Especially those of you who watched uh, the video that I did earlier. I think 100,000 explosive zombies killed 600 to 700,000 Spartans. And they were just the kills that they actually got. They actually killed a lot more than that, so... <laughs> Definitely do not underestimate the explosive zombies. We've actually still got a fair few amount of ghosts going on at the background here still. Kind of surprised that these chaps are alive. You can see the work that they've been putting in here. <laughs> Massive defilade of bodies that has been created. I love how the heavy knights look like a porcupine army as well. I like the exploding zombies. They're definitely up there with the exploding arrows for me. Sure, Mitz, if everyone else agrees with that, I'm happy to do it. Oh, 
We're getting very close to our fifth spin of the kill streak wheel here. Yeah, okay, I can move the explosive zombies then. That's no problem. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is that one there. Unfortunately, we didn't get our fifth kill streak. However, that is your poll. Go ahead and vote on what units you want to add to your zombie horde. So we've gone from. 37,000 kills last round to 48,000 this round. That will, of course, give us four spins of the kill streak wheel as well. well let's go ahead and get our four spins going. This spin, 200 zombies. Second spin. Four hundred zombies. Third spin. One hundred zombies. And the last spin. Another 400 there. Okay, are we adding these onto the existing ones? Yeah. No worries. So that will take our current existing amount of exploding zombies from 5,880 to 6,980. Yeah, let's go ahead then and end our poll. What do we get in this round? Oh, it looks like we had quite a bit of a mixed, uh, a mixed bag this time. Lots of people voting for different things, but in the end, ghosts won. We'd like to add them to our existing ghosts. Yeah. So that will take our number of ghosts up to 163 from 115. Grab these chaps over here. Just move everything just a smidge. Um, here. Excellent. Are we all good to go? Everyone happy? Yeah. And it's off then. You think this is going to be the last round? Think you've got it in the bag? Potentially, eh? Ah, <laughs> oh, you guys, you're gonna have so much fun. Let's go.
<laughs> oh god absolutely fantastic work oh, I think you guys have just been underestimating the explosive zombies that's all like vastly underestimating the explosive zombies you guys kept putting them at the back for ages, but now you're finally, finally, you've put them at the front and they can shine for how good they really are. Look at them. They've, you've got to remember, there was only 5,000 of them, ladies and gentlemen. They've got 10 health points each. They pretty much insta-die. So, yeah, look at that. 5,000 of them pretty much just walked over 90% of the Roman army. Oh my god, absolutely fantastic stuff. Alright, uh, hello, it's the equivalent of a baneling bust. That's what it is. For that, any of you who uh, know about StarCraft and are up on your StarCraft, it's the equivalent of a Bane bust. <laughs> there we go. Look how quick the Roman army got dissolved. And I use that word very specifically, dissolved. Uh, looks like pretty much the rooftop Romans, oh, apart from this group here. Yeah, wasn't there? Yeah, there's two over there. Ugh, gut shot, absolute wreckage. There we go, that's all of them dealt with. And, oh gosh, there's just this one little contingent over here now to deal with. Evaporated, yeah. I mean, just look at what they did here. This is the work of the exploding zombies. Like I said, it only says you've got 7,000 kills, but there was 50,000 Romans here. So, 40-odd thousand of them died to fall damage, basically. Come on, mop up the last few Romans here. There we go. This group is now onwards. The Mongolian village is awaiting them. Calling them. It's the destiny. Like I said, I don't think we've got any more explosive zombies left now. What the... Oh. Yeah, I think that solves that problem. Must have missed them. Uh, yeah, can't see any more. Good, okay. So, the Mongolian beehive has now been awoken. It needs to OB hive. No? No? Okay. My oh god, the chat's deader than Bill Cosby's career tonight. What's going on? You all you're all asleep. What are you calling me now, Mitz? That's not very nice. Roof dogs? What about roof dogs? <laughs> Bill
Bill Cosby just did a show. I doubt Bill Cosby just did a show. Unless it was called One Foot in the Grave, I doubt he did a show. Chris! Oh my god! Chris, I haven't seen you in a long time. How's it going, mate? Bill Cosby. I thought Bill Cosby was dead. Oh god, you're quite right, he's still alive. Jesus Christ. You know what? I had no idea he was alive. I, for ages, assumed he was dead. <laughs> Enjoy, Shifty. Yeah, I don't know why, but I, but for quite literally for years, I've assumed Bill Cosby was dead. I don't, I don't know why. It's just one of them things. I guess I've sort of put him up there with Jimmy Savile. For those of you who don't know, he's basically the British version, sorry, British version of Bill Cosby. I mean, yeah, Bill's eighty-five, so he's. Uh, He's not knock, knock, knocking on death's door. Mr. Bean? Oh, uh, yeah, Gary Glitter. But he was more of a songwriter than, you know, than anything else. Whereas Bill Cosby was like a family entertainer. And so was uh, Jimmy Savile. That Savile was worse because he had a kids TV show. <laughs> so, and then Operation Mop Up has been declared on the Mongolian village now. <laughs> Rolf Harris. Yeah. Two little boys had two little toys. I bet they did. I bet they did, Rolf. Can you tell what it is, yeah? <laughs> it's all so sinister. It's all so sinister knowing what we know now. I suppose the Cosby show was basically... Yeah, I suppose it was actually realistically a kid's show. Come on then, chaps. Onwards to the next village. We want to see if you can finally clean it up. There's 46,000 of you here against 48,000. Apparently, is there some... What's what's the skullduggery that's going on here? What are they shooting at? Ah, I found you. There we go. There was a guy glitched in the uh, wall down there. Problem solved. Shotgun solves all problems. That's a good life lesson, kids. 
Got a problem? Solve it with a shotgun. Don't, don't, no. <laughs> That's a horrible life lesson. Well, depends where you live. Looks like the trolls are going to be the first ones to engage here. I already thought they were married. Yay, flying glasser demons. Oh god, where did he go? One of them just got sent sky high. Like, absolutely rocketed. Whoop. There we go. Oh no, one troll down, two troll down. It's like Reddit during a mod ban. Oh my god, the trolls are falling. I don't think we've got any other trolls anywhere else. Not that I can see. No, there's no other trolls anywhere else. We have still got some ghosts left though, that is a good thing. How many are left? I'm not quite sure. We'll soon find out, though, as the big horde here now starts to catch up. <laughs> I've been taking joke lessons from Dave. Every single lesson was fake. None of them were real. They were all joke lessons. <laughs> go on then how many green orbs of death have we got actually to be fair it looks like the ghosts are quite nicely spread out throughout the entire line sort of a good thing though that is in fact i think the bulk of the ghosts are now about to arrive yeah it looks like there's a hell of a lot of ghosts now arriving and they're all going to be arriving down this side here which arguably is the wiki side of the night although actually saying that they are starting to outflank you here. These ghosts could actually provide a vital lifeline to keep the zombies in the fight on this side. There's going to be a heck of a lot of orbs coming down range in a moment. Here we go. More and more ghosts now. Look at all these back here as well. There's still all these chaps here who've just filtered the way through the town. All right, Chris, mate. Thanks for... Uh, Right, Chris, thanks for stopping by. Really nice to see you. Haven't seen you in a live chat in a very long time. Come on. This is getting down to the wire now, ladies and gentlemen. You've got 19,000 remaining against 38,000. The ghosts are now pretty much all in play. You're winning on this side, but it's this side yet again. When this flank falls, it's really dangerous because it just opens up the entire side to all the ghosts. However, you've got a, quite a large contingent on this side here. But no, here it is. The break in the line, I'm afraid. The heavy knights now pouring through. There's still a few ghosts left, like I said, especially on this side. Oh no, the heavy knights are pouring the round. They've managed to come around and they're now chewing their way through the ghosts. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Looks like you guys need a lot more exploding zombies.
but ever so close to the 50,000 mark as well. Like, real close to it. And just because I want to see it, I might even, depending on how many you get, I might even double the amount that you get from the wheel of zombies. Just because I love the exploding zombies so much. last few then here we go ladies and gentlemen there's your poll go ahead vote on what units you want to add to your next wave and i will say ladies and gentlemen this will probably be our final wave so we're gonna make it a good one god you were like 700 kills shy of your uh next kill streak So then, let's get our kill streak wheel on the go here. The first spin. Get four spins in total. Is 100. Second spin. Two hundred. Third spin. Hey, Jake. Third spin, another 200. Fourth spin and final spin. A 500. Now, would you like to add these to the existing exploding zombies? Yep. Yep, no worries, guys. So, that'll bring our new total of exploding zombies up to 700 and... 7,000, sorry, 980. Let's go ahead and end our poll. We get in here. What's that? Is that normal zombies? God, that's ages to come up then. Okay, so that's going to bring our new total of normal zombies to uh, 1,113. My, my numbers are going out the window. And can you tell I'm getting tired? There we go. Oh, let's just, uh, I'm going to have to reduce the rank just a little bit. Because they're getting a little bit stuck. 
We're running out of room now. Oh, not you. Yeah, good to go. Game over this round, you think? Well, there's only one way to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Mitz wants to know if you want to put the ghosts in front of the zombies. Oh, gosh. Uh, it doesn't seem so mixed, I'm afraid. Take this off then. This potentially then is the killing blow for you, ladies and gentlemen. Will you finally wipe out humanity? Let's go. Let's get these exploding zombies on the go. Here we go. Oh my god. Look at them. They just evaporate the poor Roman army here. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, I think that was all of them, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh no, was what about this one over here? There we go, there's one more here. There we go. Good news, Candy. Jesus. And then there's Columbia, where excitement is from. There we go, another successful mounting of the Roman army up front here. So again, we've got these two little pockets of resistance either side. There's still some exploding zombies left here. God, they're so deadly. Just look how... That formation just instantly evaporated with the exploding zombies. <laughs> oh, you think you won this one? Well, we're finding out. Go on, guys, now. Onward to the Mongolian army. Go on, guys. Over this way. Yeah, see they come. That's it. Oh, there is actually some exploding zombies left. Only a few of them. <laughs> oh actually no actually there's quite a few of them left oh my never mind
Let's draw him and wear it. Where? Ah. Ah, yeah, there is. Flipping glitchy buildings. Why would it put them in there if they can't get out? That reminds me, wasn't the one over here as well for the uh, Mongolians? I seem to remember there being one for the Mongolians as well somewhere. Don't remember where, but he was in like a building like this one here. Problem solved. Very sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I just need to be right back yet again. Won't be a moment. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Let's see what we got going on here. How are we doing with the Mongolian horde? Oh, we're not doing too bad. We are chewing our way through it little by little. You can see we've got a few stragglers coming around the side now. It does look like most of the ghost orbs have caught up now with the rest of the army and are just absolutely leveling all the poor Mongolians that are stuck in the middle here. Yeah, look at this. Even got a flanking manoeuvre on the go. 93,000 troops remaining here, ladies and gentlemen. A good old chunk of troops. Rooftop Mongolians. Did I not kill them? Uh, oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, there we go. That's that one sorted. There's that one done. There we go. Uh, you guys get off there as well. And I think that's all of them. That looks like all of them. Excellent stuff. Uh, yes, Dave. Of course I can. I'll probably do it in the morning when I wake up. Uh, just drop me a message in the Discord to remind me to do it. 
and then I'll do it in the morning when I wake up tomorrow. No worries. Operation Mop Up the Mongrels is almost complete here. We can see we've got this little detachment over here that are holding out, but no. The big St. Patrick's Day green orbs of death are making their way across the Mongolian line and absolutely slaying them. Uh, no worries, guys. I'll probably only be popping onto the Discord for about five minutes myself. I'll probably have to go to see to my daughter, to be honest. Mongrels. <laughs> they are they are wafters. They are the the dog doo doo. That's what they are. It's weird, because the Mongolians in this look like they should be a lot better than they actually are. It's a weird thing. Like, you'd expect them to do quite well, but they seem to be sort of... I don't know. Lacking something. Not quite sure what it is. Got no oomph behind them. Go on then, chaps. Let's see. Oh, God. What's going on here? Who are we after now? Are we having a showdown with someone? Someone glitched somewhere? Hello? No? Yeah, I think we're good, aren't we? We good, guys? Yeah, you're just making your way through. Yeah. Okay. Ah, is it someone under the ground here? Yeah, there we go. Looked like it was someone underground. The horse is what they need. That's very true, yeah. The devs need to get horses in this game as quick as possible. As well as a fast forward option. Moving on up. Moving on up. Time to break free. Oh yes, there is. There's a couple of fast zombies still alive. The explosive zombies. That is true. Whether they'll actually get a chance to explode is different because... Yeah, I think they just got slaughtered. There was three of them that ran in there. That is the building in the night. What, Mitz? What? That is the building in the night. What building in the night? There's a building inside the night? That is confusing. Or there are the knights in the building. Oh, the building in the night for me. Just a weird little outpost. Nothing really that impressive. Just a little village. <laughs> Whip out your rubber sock. It's Olympic o'clock. My god, look at this. You've actually got enough units now to start outflanking the knights here for the first time. Plenty of ghosts have made it as well. To the end here, they are just laying down massive amounts of fire. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
I know, Mets. It looked like they were sort of uh, they were getting up to nefarious activities that were not approved of. What they do in their own time is up to them, but this is uh, this is showtime. They can't be doing that now. Look at the amount of orbs going off in the background now, though. That's a heck of a lot. Yeah, the glitch troops sort of uh, worked in your favour a little bit. Because the ghosts really are just literally at the back here, flinging orbs of death now. There's nothing the knights can do about it. The knights aren't winning a flank or anything like that. They have got, though, a large bulk of troops. There is a heck of a lot of knights still left alive here. Down to 34,000. You chaps have got 58,000 left. Quality of troops, though, is definitely in favour of the knights. Oh, my God. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. For the first time this evening, and I think for all of the stream... We've got a blood lake, ladies and gentlemen. A very, ow, very, sorry, I just punched myself in the face accidentally. <laughs> Don't ask how I did it. Ow, that actually hurt. I was trying to uh, move the microphone and I accidentally almost tipped over the microphone and then punched myself in the face in the process. I've tried to stop the microphone falling over. Oh God. Anyway. Mm. Yes, what was I saying? Blood Lake, yeah, before I punch myself in the face. <laughs> oh, absolutely fantastic stuff. That's what I like to see there in the chat. Little Timmy and his rubber dinghy are definitely going to be happy. Trolls are alive, yeah, I know. What's amazing about this is the amount of trolls. How many did we actually have? There were six trolls in total ladies and gentlemen and the damn things made it all the way to the very end of the fight that's pretty damn impressive if you ask me like six of them to the very end of the fight no lorry there's no uh, there's no blood just a bruised ego But yeah, in the centre over here, this is quite literally death incarnate here in the centre, ladies and gentlemen. The amount of green orbs being fired at the centre is, quite frankly, ridiculous now. The knights are just getting melted here. So much so that the zombies have pushed over the defilade of bodies and are now proceeding to try and chunky monkey their way through the center of the knights that's pretty impressive 16,000 heavy knights remain here 31,000 zombie troops it's it's going to be close the heavy knights not to be underestimated especially if they make a breakthrough and start killing the ghosts whether that'll happen is a different question you can see ah you're running out of troops in the center here this could be a nasty turning point if the knights manage to break through here and start actually killing ghosts. Oh, and there it is. The knights have just broken through the center and are now going around and starting to kill the ghosts in the rear. The zombies need to form a defensive line here as quickly as possible. Otherwise, a large bulk of ghosts right here are going to be experiencing a heck of a lot of pain. Not that the undead luches can feel pain but look there's another one here the zombies are stretching themselves a little bit too thin 
the ghost orbs now are just laying into the piles of body that have mounted in front of them. Look at this. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. Disaster has struck at the 11th hour. The heavy knights managed to break through and are now starting to slay the ghosts over here. How are we doing on this side? So the zombies have managed to form some form of rudimentary defense for now. Will it be enough though? They need to hold off these heavy knights all by themselves now. How are we doing over this side? So the zombies operation mop up on this flank here. The zombies are winning this side. This is getting really close now. 8,000 heavy knights remaining to 17,000 of your troops. I really wouldn't want to call this. This is going to be a tough one. Let's have a look. How are we doing over here? You know what I'm going to call this? You haven't won. That's what I'm going to say. I don't think you've won. Maybe if you'd have killed these chaps over this side. Possibly. But, I don't know. This is going to be... This is tough. The heavy knights here really cannot be underestimated. They are really strong. Yeah, this is going to be really close. 5,000, well, six, still 6,000 knights remaining, 12,000 of your troops. I mean, I'm thinking the heavy knights have got this. I really am. Maybe if a lot of the ghosts had stayed alive, but the majority of the ghosts are now dead, and it's zombies. This is really intense. I've no idea genuinely who's going to win this, but there is still a lot. I mean, your saving grace at the moment is that half of the heavy knights are still stuck over here because they're on guard mode. That is a saving grace for you. Whether it's going to be enough to tip the balance in your favor is a different question. This is probably one of the most intense down to the wire fights that we've had for the end of a stream in a very long time. Like, I, I can't call this. I really still can't call it. Because there is 5,000 heavy knights remaining, but there's a good chunk over here. That's got to be at least two to 300 of them there. It's all about these flanks. And how effective these ghosts are. I mean, there's at least three ghosts here that I can see. I can't see any others anywhere else. But three ghosts can make a difference, you know. Not when they're firing the orbs into the abyss like that. But three ghosts can make a huge difference. Come on, you guys need to win this flank over here, ideally. If you win the flanks and you can start surrounding them... I do actually think you're in for a good chance. These ghost orbs at the moment being really, really good. Apart from that one. These ghost orbs are helping you out so much. It's a shame only three of them are remaining. Alright mate, no worries mate, thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. Three thousand remaining. Your troops. 
I don't think you've done it, ladies and gentlemen. you've got to take on that group after as well i don't think this is this is not going to be a win i'm afraid ladies and gentlemen i don't think for you the zombie horde has not defeated mankind i don't think this time mankind's heavy nights proving to be too much for the poor old zombies that was ladies and gentlemen though what a fight to go out on. How down to the wire was this fight? That was pretty good to go out on. Alright, there's no shame in this loss whatsoever. Heavy Knights are really, really strong. I think a lot of people forget just how strong Heavy Knights are. They are some of the toughest units in the game, period. I mean, like for normal human-wise, you know what I mean? Like, they can almost stand up to generals. But, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, that was our last round. And we are going to be calling it there. Oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you had a blast. Because I know I did. I really enjoyed that. A massive, massive shout out here to all of you members out there. You guys are absolutely fantastic thank you so much for supporting the channel and helping us to continue doing what we do here because honestly i really enjoy it so i hope you guys do too and of course a massive shout out to our moderators who keep the channel really nice and clean and keep the chat healthy and family friendly and full of lovely lovely horrible jokes at the same time the lovely and horrible is what i'm saying because I don't want to give Dave any credit whatsoever. And of course, a massive shout out to everyone who watches the VODs. And as always, peace.